Hello everybody, this is Ron with Robo Alarms and I'm out in the shop. Once again I'm working with a Lynx Touch. This particular model is an L5000 but the modules I'm going to show you works with any of the Lynx Touch. Uh, Lynx Touch not to be confused with the Lynx EN or Lynx R which are a totally different and system and doesn't have the Lynx or the touch screen like the Lynx Touch. The small module I've got here I've designed specifically to work with it where it's marked plus and negative that goes to your siren. It's so easy you pull off the paper on the foam tape and just mount it inside the box. I've shown you several videos where they work the uh, interior sirens such as Wave 2 or the MG here. But if you'll notice I've got the big 30 watt uh, siren here that's uh, and it states it works 6 to 12 volts. The Lynx Touch system works on a transformer power supply they're built in together that puts out 9 volts, it's actually about 9.5 volts and is rated at 2.5 amps which is plenty to drive the siren. Inside the panel, I think I've shown you, you've just got the three wires tie in, you've got the power coming from the transformer or power supply it's positive and negative it's connected on the panel, easy to connect and you connect the three wires from the module, then you connect the siren straight to the module. In this case since I've got it right here I didn't run an extra wire, it's just right straight the siren wires right into it, positive and negative. But the point being that this will work the system just as it is. Just simply add the module, run the wire to your large siren, and you do need a large siren, I think, on most systems, you know, unless you're in a maybe a small apartment or something. But uh, most homes, I think you should add a loud siren, such as this 30 watt siren, somewhere in your attic or under the eaves, outside. Make sure you've got lots of noise because the more noise, the more likely that burglar is going to leave immediately, meaning he's not going to take your stuff with him, which is the whole purpose of having the burglar alarm. Just to show you that it does work, I'm going to set off the panic button on this. Disarmed. Not ready to arm. Check zone. It's every bit as loud in person as it sounded over the speaker here. Again, simple little module. I've got these available. Very inexpensive. No fancy rewiring. Just simply run the three wires in as my instructions have shown. Black and red, the positive and negative, yellow to, to the trigger. Connect your siren to the positive and negative. You're ready to go. There's even enough power on the... Uh, Power supply that comes with these, since it's rated that much, the big siren draws about uh, one amp. Your system's working at about uh, 40 milliamps, so you've got plenty of power there. Now, if you add cell phone modules and things like that, it may draw some more, but just the, the basic system draws very little current, surprisingly. You could actually parallel both an inside siren speaker like this. This is a complete siren, not just a speaker. And another 30 watt outside siren and there'd still be enough current coming off of the uh, uh, power supply to sound them both. If you have any questions just give me a holler. This is Ron out in the shop.